Okay, so we're gonna, um, I'm gonna go over my planning with you so that you can see uh, kind of what I'm doing here. So this is my garden that is uh, fenced, that is the biggest one. So it's a 16 by 18, and then there's a part that's marked off back here that's, um, that we put a board so that stuff doesn't grow over. And this year I'm gonna do all of my lettuce and salad because that area actually gets shaded and earlier than the other, so I'm gonna try that. And then um, over here, these are my planters. I'm gonna do carrots and beets in one of them, potatoes in another. I have not done potatoes in this, um, in the troughs yet, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I always do a herb garden in the little one. And then in the backpack, I have trellises that I need to go show you, but um, I do Kentucky long beans, I'm gonna do peas, and then cucumbers and squash. Anytime that you do um, cucumbers, you want to do something with a trellis because it will be, uh, they will grow up it and it's a lot easier to pick them and stuff. If you're doing cucumbers for pickling, um, you will need to do, let's see here just a second, the Boston pickling cucumbers and I, it looks like I need to get some. Yeah. So you'll need to get the Boston pickling cucumbers is the variety that does really, really good. Okay. So I'm going to do tomatoes, bell peppers, another row of tomatoes, tomatoes, bell peppers, and jalapenos. And then um, I'm going to try a row of corn. And then I've already got onions and garlic planted right now in, in mine. So anyway, once I gut everything out, I still have things growing in there. I have cabbage and um, Brussels sprouts growing right now. And so um, I, can't, I can't take all that out. It's, it's still going great. But what I am going to do this year, I'm going to try, is um, I'm going to ask the big event to come and help me do my gardening because it's really hard to do it by yourself and it's really hard to get your kids to help you <laughs> and sometimes your husband. So um, anyway, if you live in the College Station area, Bryan College Station area, that is an option for you is to sign up for the big event and they are happy to come help and I, um, I've had them come help a, a, with a bunch of other things. Okay, so tomatoes, if you want to do like make your own um, like tomato sauce and things like that, you want to use the San Maran Maranzo, I guess is how you would say it, uh, tomatoes. So I always do one whole row of those because I do like to make my own sauce. Uh, the other variety I'm going to use this year is the, are the Money Makers. And then I'm going to do the, because these make gorgeous, huge tomatoes, I'm going to do the Brandywine and the Yellow blend. And I think that's, oh, and I'm going to do... Where's my cherry tomatoes? We like cherry tomatoes at our house, so we're gonna do um, cherry tomatoes too. So those are the varieties that I'm doing for that. The other ones we're gonna wait on. Actually, I'm probably gonna do some romas too. I have romas. We do some romas too. Um, I have spaced out my tomatoes so that most tomatoes you need to plant them 36 inches apart. So my rows are 16 feet. So I did the math on that and, and I can do five in each row. Do not overload your tomatoes. They, they start out really small, but they will be huge. And you won't even, I probably won't even be able to walk through some of these rows. So be careful in the way that you, that you plant them. If you plant them in your planters, your uh, troughs, um, you may can only do about, I would, I would do two rows of them, but do them, um, like every other, like, as in, I don't know how to explain this, but like if you did it, let's say you had six plants, try to, or do five plants, something like that. You see that? Where they're kind of like, uh, every other one. Okay. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to explain with this so far. I don't, okay, let's look at the things that we have to plant in. Put this stuff aside. All right, so these, you can, I think I bought this on Amazon. It was during COVID, and so I didn't want to get out much, um, but as you can see, I just reuse them every year. They come with a top. Everything that you plant, you're going to need to have a top on it, okay? 
this one, I'm really proud of this because I bought a bunch of plants uh, a couple months ago for my fall and I just kept the containers that I got from Lowe's. And so I'm just going to reuse them. I save all of this stuff because I think it's such a waste to throw it away when you can continue to use it. And then I have tops that will just pop right over and they'll be fine. I've got this stuff over here that I've saved. So anyway, a lot of this stuff you can find for free. And I did want to say too that um, as far as the planners go, you can use the um, troughs that are, let's see if I'm going to turn this around. You can use the troughs that are plastic, or you can use those huge um, containers that they plant trees in. Uh, you could probably get, go to a nursery and see if they have any. I saw some on the side of the road one day. I should have picked them up. But um, anyway, again, you can plant with anything. Okay, as you start to plant, you want to make sure that you get um, seeding. You can't see it because, oh, here we go you get seed starting um, dirt. I made the mistake one time because I had a bunch of bags of dirt in my garage. I was like, oh, I could put a seed on it. It, did, it was not successful. So make sure that when you're starting these tiny seeds, you use seeding soil. Okay, so we have all of our supplies here. Don't forget to have something to label uh, the seeds that you put in um, because as they're coming up, you may not, <laughs> you'll think that you'll remember, but you will forget. So make sure that you have something to label. You can put tape on there. I have tried tape before, like painter's tape, but the, once I watered it, it kind of came off. So I would suggest something that you can write on and stick it in. All right. So. Go. Okay. So we have, Nathan is going to help us here. Um, if you have little kids, this is so fun to do with them. So you just going to put all the dirt in. Put it each one, push it about halfway, like, well, about three quarters of the way up and every single one. And then what we're going to do is water it and it's going to settle. This dirt is super fluffy. So, um, you'll see it kind of puffs up with when you put water on it, but we're going to go ahead and fill all these up and then I'll show you what's next. Okay. We have them uh, filled up. Nothing pretty. It's not a big deal. Now he's going to put some water on doing such a good job and see how it kind of pushes it back down it will drain through the bottom because we have this thing in the bottom slider them all good job okay looks good right here good job Nathan thank you baby okay now we're gonna let it settle and then I'll put a little bit more dirt on the top Okay, finished with that. And now all we're gonna do is go through and just put some holes in um, so that, so needs a little bit more dirt, so that we can um, put in our seeds. You'll need to look at the back of your seeds to see how deep most of them are like three quarter or something like that. Um, it just depends. So um, just go through and put your holes in, each one. And then you'll come in and put your um, tomato seeds or whatever seeds you have. 